Sunday, July the 6th, 2014, uh, came uh, anachronism 2,183. Okay, so echolocation doesn't really mean what it means. Or am I getting this right? I don't recall any time personally spent an attempt to break into it, to break it, uh, to crack or divine it before, but gossip has it that, well, I mean, Stephanie mentions it, only to explain something in relation with Jenna Osman's ideas around echolocation, locating the unseen via speech, via writing, via sound, bats, which, when I look it up in the free dictionary, seems to mirror and yet deny the official definition, but wait, which has to do with sonar, sound waves, of course, like how bats or dolphins communicate or at the very least locate each other identify each other in terms of the space between them, so as to, I suppose, deliberately make ways to each other, or to deliberately avoid the other. But all I'm doing is wondering if I've finally found a word that describes something that I've always wanted to be able to describe. <sighs> or to be able to describe. I mean, sigh to be able to describe. That's in brackets. The thing I've always wanted to be able to describe is how language, speech, writing, sound, physicality, cannot so much describe a place or help you find a place, but how it defines it. Not so much place, I guess, as culture. And, well, yes, I suppose defines it in relation to myself, to my place, my culture, to me. It was physics, I suppose, or could it have been calculus? Where it'd have to calculate something's distance from something else based on when something heard the noise created by 